This is the third time I've tried to record this. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. Like my whole school year. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Creekside Catholics. I hope you had a great school year coming to a close, possibly already done. Um, so I thought I'd be back to give you an update on how modern Mobiles went for us this year. And not so good. No, not so good. Um, well, I've discovered a few things. Um, we are not a Charlotte Mason family. Now, in my head, I had this, like, fantasy of, you know, my kids sitting around and listening wide-eyed to me as I read them stories and they would narrate back and it would just be beautiful and perfect and that's not how it went at all. Um, there was a lot of running around, not paying attention. What did you say? I didn't get that. I mean, oh my gosh. And I work on top of this. So, <laughs> yeah, um, Mm -mm. This is not the style for us at all. So I need my kids to be a little more independent, and this required way too much work from me. Um, I, I like the idea. I love the fantasy that I had about how it was going to work, um, but didn't. Um, I like the literature selections, some of them. Some of them, I was kind of confused why, sorry, my nose is so itchy, allergies, um, why um, some of them were selected for kids so young. Like, I, I get you don't want fluff kind of books, but honestly, if it's if it's way over their heads and the language is too high and mighty, my kids are not paying attention anymore. I have to paraphrase everything. And at that point, I'm reading for myself. What's the point, you know? So, anyhow. And it was taking too long. Our school day was taking way too long. There were so many subjects. There was so much reading, and then I had to push everything back because I have to work for five hours in the morning. I work for another company. I have set hours, and they have to wait for me because there was very little that they could do on their own um, because I had to be part of literally everything. So it just sucked for us. I mean, if you can do this while you're working, I mean... You know, props to you. You know, you are amazing if you can make it work. That's awesome. But for us, it didn't work. And the personalities of children I have, mm -mm. I will say the two things that were great that did come out of this. My daughter really loves reading a lot now. She's reading a lot more on her own. Um, like she's finished Heidi a couple of times. <laughs> And now she's on to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which I had already read to her, but she wants to read on her own as well. Um, and they're both a lot better at narrating. In the beginning, it was terrible. It was awful. And my son is the younger one. He'll be seven in June. He was really bad at it. And now he's so much better. So those two things are like, some fruits that came from it. But the rest didn't work for us. Um, it was too much work on my part. It took too much time based on our schedule and my work schedule. Um, and some of the literature selections, it was just like too much for them. It wasn't too bad for my daughter. I mean, although the Burgess Bird book, she didn't, she got done with early. And we did the audio, too, and she still just wasn't having it. Um, but 
we are my kids like workbooks. I know they like workbooks. And you know what? This mom is starting to like workbooks too. Um, so we're switching things up and we're doing something a little, a little controversial. We're using Ace Paces next year. Yeah. I know they're not Catholic. Ooh, I know. But I'm going to make it work. If you don't know what Ace Paces are, they're these. This is English. This is second grade, I think. Maybe, yeah. Second grade English, I think. Um, they're little booklets. But you get 12 of them a year. It's supposed to take them three weeks to get through each one. There are tests in here that you pull out. These are already done. My daughter loves these. She loves them. And so does my son. He loves them too. <laughs> That's so weird. And they can do them by themselves. They can do them by themselves while they work. It's amazing. Anyway, that's what we're using. And I'm going to create a bunch more videos about how I'm going to implement this, even though it's not Catholic. Um, it's either non-denominational or Baptist. I'm not sure. Um, so there are some things in their programs we won't use, and we can only basically use them up until a certain point, um, particularly in some subjects like um, creative writing. Their literature selections get to Protestant. Um, so at a certain point, we can't use those anymore. And in social studies, it's a little tricky too, because um, especially when you get to the Reformation. So there's certain sections of the social studies that um, either we don't use the pace at all. There's one pace that I know, I think it's in sixth grade. We're just gonna not use the last two paces. Big deal. Um, and that's basically it. Like. But I'm, we're doing, my son's doing finishing up first grade math with it right now because I wanted him to be able to transition into second grade with the same program. And he likes it. Everything's in their binder. So there aren't like 50 books that I have to gather together and figure out what pages we're reading of this book and what pages of this book. It's just a binder and it has, you know, a Senate for each subject, which right now they don't have each subject because we're not starting it completely until next year. But they want, they want each of their little folders inside their binder filled up. And I think that says something. That's what they wanna do. They like it. Now maybe by the end of the next year they won't like it, but for right now they like it. <laughs> and they can do it independently and that's the thing that I like the most. They even score them themselves. Well, my, not my son, he's too young, but um, my soon to be fourth grader, she scored her own English today and she liked it. It was like, I get to check my own stuff. Not her tests, but like her, you know, anyway. I'll give a proper video on like the breakdown of that and what it all looks like. And I'll do it not with my laptop. So it's a little better than this. But I just want to let you know how modern Amabilis went for us this year. Basically, we stopped using it um, a couple months ago. Um, we're doing my uh, horse unit study right now to kind of finish up the year. And a couple of these pace, um, Ace Paces books. And that's basically what we're doing. And then they're going to finish up their math, you know, however long that takes into the summer and just read. And then we'll start fresh in the fall. So I'll be back um, to explain to you about Ace Paces and give you a better view of what the books look like, what my setup is. And if um, you're interested in seeing how to implement that for a Catholic family, um, hopefully I can shed some light on that because I couldn't find any videos on Catholics using this as their program. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Um, I look forward to seeing you. God bless you. Have a great rest of your school year. 
and um, I'll see you soon.